channel. I know it's been a while. Um, I was looking back through my videos and I haven't actually done um, like a makeup video or an update uh, since like the summer. Um, the last one was actually, I have it here, um, is the Ooh La La palette um, and the Making Mauves palette, which I have right here here and um i was looking back and i've actually acquired quite a few more pieces since the summer just treating myself or um indulging in the new releases by ColourPop. it's mostly been ColourPop. i think i recorded a video using um their new palette called wild nothing that was back at the house and um i didn't look all too put together um you know and i didn't want to do another long makeup video um i don't know if you guys like it there weren't too many comments unfortunately on the last video um saying whether you guys liked you know the whole tutorial um kind of video where i put on all the makeup in front of you or just talk about the makeup once it's all on um so i thought i would just do i thought i would just take my time and put my makeup on before and talk about it afterwards plus i really want to talk about ali glines's new makeup uh cases I bought both of them that they have that she brought out sorry recently she just brought out the full bag collection and i invested in both the full bag and the classic bag um if this isn't making sense and you don't know who she is that's fine she is a, a youtuber an influencer a makeup artist that i absolutely love uh, she puts out three videos a week super consistent i love her videos um she is the girl that i referenced actually in the making mobs video because she was my inspiration to buy that palette and um that look i was going for she did that video um anyway she has come out with her own makeup bags because she absolutely loves makeup and made her own store and designed the whole thing and i will show them off uh right after um i talk about my uh newest palettes and newest um, bits and bobs that I've ordered from like Sephora and Ulta recently. Um, but let's talk about some new things that I've purchased recently. Um, uh, first is going to be this one, the um, Wild Nothing palette. I think I bought this actually back in September when it launched, but I haven't obviously made a video since the summer, um, since my last uh, palette that I bought, since uh, the palette before this, which was the Making Mobs and the Ulala La palettes and stuff. So this is Wild Nothing, and I was obsessed with the kind of desert uh, rose gold tones and stuff in here. I hope you can see that. Um, I'll do a close-up of it um, if you can't, if I look back at the footage and it doesn't look good. But these are the colors that I'm loving and that I actually have on my eyes right now. I have uh, Vagabond and Spirited. Um, Spirited and um sultan are actually um not jelly shallow shadows um super shock shadows that are inside the palette which is so cool that they put super shock shadows in a palette and i'm obsessed spirited is in the inner corner super shiny super sparkly in love uh we'll put that over the whole lid sometimes just for an all over wash of color um we'll get into my sephora order because i went a little ham on sephora as well for no reason other than i wanted to um then i just wanted to get a couple new things um i've heard great um uh reviews and it's like a staple for so many beauty gurus and influencers and people that are in the beauty world the charlotte tilbury pillow talk set of first i think they came out with the lipstick and then the liner and i think they have pillow talk now an eyeshadow a pillow talk blush i think um but i wanted to try the color first because i know that a lot of people say it's universal even charlotte tilbury says it's universal but i had never tried it so i bought the little tiny uh little tiny set from Sephora still $25 but um, a lot cheaper than the the full one um, so I thought I'd try it and if I love it I'll buy a bigger one um, I also don't wear a lot of lip products in general um, other than a quick lip gloss I'll get uh, obsessed with a lip gloss like a super shiny lip gloss because um, I don't I like the color of my lips I don't mind it I don't need to change it too much I just love having super like 
shimmer on there. Um, but especially now with COVID and we have to wear masks, even wearing masks when people come over, I mean, not come over, but like socially distancely come over, um, I'll still wear a mask um, until I'm, until I'm like definitely six feet or more away from them um, and it gets on the mask. So um, I'm not buying a ton of lip products these days. The, see, another thing that I bought in my Sephora like treat to myself or Sephora haul, I don't know how to explain it, but um, I just went on and I needed to um, like revamp my skincare because I know that the last skincare update that I did was pretty in depth over the summer about Drunk Elephant um, and how I was trying that for months and if I liked it, I would repurchase and all that stuff. Well, that's a whole other video because I've cycled through um, different types of skincare products maybe two times since the Drunk Elephant saga of 2020, J July 2020, whenever I did that video, um, thinking that was going to be it. I'm going to try it and see how it goes. Well, like I said, I've tried a couple different things since then. Um, I have a couple new, um, not holy grails, but a couple new things that I'm trying. Again, I won't go into it in this video. Leave a comment down below if you want to know like an updated skincare routine um, for like November, December. Um, because I just um, bought a couple new things from Sephora. Um, I bought a, a bunch from the uh, Black Friday Cyber Monday sales. So I'll probably do another video um, coming soon on everything that I bought uh, through Cyber Monday and Black Friday sales because um, a bunch of stuff is coming. I, I won't obviously tell you guys about the Christmas presents. I won't show that because my family might watch, but I'll show you all the goodies that I happen to treat myself to. I treat myself to like a little bit of skincare, a little bit of makeup, and a little bit of sale clothing. So anyway, I treated myself. Anyway, speaking of treats, um, I didn't necessarily need new brushes, but because I had a couple like Real Techniques brushes that were amazing. But again, there was some kind of sale back in November. This is the Sephora brand makeup brush kit. One did just fall out. Hang on. Here's the set. I really hope you can see. I was I was drawn to this, I should say. Um, a, well, mainly because of the gold. <laughs> mainly because of the gold glitter in there, just aesthetically, when I do settle into somewhere. That's another story. I have many videos to make after this, like health update, life update, um, hauls, and where I'm living and all that stuff. But in another another video, um, I will do a little apartment tour because I'm moving, uh, because we'll be here for so long. Um, well, the house is um, being fixed and renovated and like, you know, cleared of smoke and stuff and cleaned. Uh, we'll be living here for like a, six months to a year, of course, unless I get a full-time job and income and things, you know, go back with the world, you know, or right with the world again. Um, and I move out and stuff. That's the hope eventually is to uh, become a fully functioning independent adult. But anyway, if I am still living with my parents in about uh, six months to a year, um, we'll still be here. So um, in the meantime, really, really soon, actually, I'll be moving uh, downstairs into the apartment that's attached to uh, the b, b It's like a, a innkeeper's quarters, but no one's living there right now. No innkeepers because obviously it's closed. Uh, very, very soon I'm going to be moving downstairs and I'll, it'll be my first ever apartment. I won't be far. I'll be like a floor away from my parents, but it's still semi-independent and also my first ever real apartment that I get to like decorate. I'm so excited for that. And um, show you guys and give you a little tour. I'll, I'll be able to bring mainly all my stuff, um, you know, and have that be clean and brought downstairs. And oh, I'm so excited. Where I was going with that about the brushes is I thought aesthetically these uh, brushes would look amazing displayed with the gold having that displayed on my vanity, um, on my makeup vanity. Oh my gosh, it would look so pretty. <laughs> I have these, I have all of these, and I've also kept, luckily this bag, this uh, kit comes with multiple holes and I 
put all my Real Techniques brushes in there too. I love how on these brushes, um, you can't really see it, um, but there's inscribed or engraved are what the, each brush is meant for. So that's awesome. I love that. This one says foundation. I'm not sure what the rest say, but anyway, this is the one I use most frequently and it's a foundation brush. I love that. So what I'm going to do next is take you on a little tour of my Ally Glines um, makeup bags, both the classic bag and the full, uh, the full set, full bag forget the actual name of it, but full bag and classic bag. Um, full bag is obviously a bit bigger. Classic is the first one they came out with. And uh, I didn't take the plunge on buying it because it is a little expensive, both are expensive, but I invested closer to the season because we are kind of in this transition of moving and we don't know where we're gonna be or we didn't for a little while. I thought I'd get these bags because all my makeup could fit in one bag, which is awesome. And I also wanted it because the other one has all my, uh, has all my medicine and um i was not storing my medicine in like or like um not medicine but like um prescriptions and pill bottles and things like that and um i could have just gotten any kind of makeup bag any kind of storage bag but these are so aesthetically pleasing so beautiful so it was a no-brainer that you know when i was ready to invest the money and you know plucked up the courage i I bought the Ali Klein's uh, makeup set and um, there's actually a mix up when I first bought it because it came with just the full bag set and randomly full bag um, is is the one with um, three inner inner boxes or inner bags inside or little compartments and then a, a big carrier bag on the outside that um, that you can carry everything with everything in um, and it actually came with this bag or this little container or organizer, whatever you want to call it. It came with this. Um, it's just they're small. I'm not sure what it's called, but they're Ally Glines um, organizer and small. And it came with just these two things. And I was like, uh oh, I bought the classic as well. Classic comes with the um, carrier, the carrier, and two of these. I was like, oh no, okay. So I messaged them, I sent them a picture of what I received and my actual order. It eventually arrived not too long after um, and I will show you that now. Um, but this is so cute. So I now have an extra and then I have another one. Won't zip it, but anyway, I have another one um, and you'll see why I have an extra. I have an extra because, um, whoa, whoa. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to hold it. I have an extra because the way I designed, um, or not designed, the way I um, decided to um, put things in this bag is uh, my medicine standing up so I could see everything. So this is the, really don't want everything to fall out. Oh my gosh, that'd be horrible. Okay, this is the classic bag. Um, it's quite beautiful, quite aesthetically pleasing. Uh, my mom even loves it. Um, maybe I'll get one for her for Christmas, I'm not sure. But anyway, she loves it as well. It's so pretty. She just came out, Allie Glines I should say, just came out with a pink one. Kind of obsessed with that too. But anyway, this is the um, original. It does zip up, but I'm gonna keep it open because I'm gonna show you. Um, I'll pan, I'll like again, take the camera, take my phone off and show you down here and stuff um, a better view of how I've organized everything but this is how I've organized um, the medicine one for super easy carry if I had to take all my medicine somewhere um, not that we're going anywhere or traveling anywhere these days um, but if I were I have to go to Sacramento um, or hospital or somewhere anyway um, they're all in one place um, they were not in all they were not in like a zip up bag before they were not all in one place before so this is how i've done it and um they they actually don't fit in those little containers there um standing up it just closes flat with all the pills on the side which is fine so now i have two extra uh small organizers but that's fine i i do find uses for them and stuff and if i ever wanted to put it back in i could um but that's what i do i have uh, the gummies or vitamins on the side here 
um, all the medicine standing up and it closes perfectly. I could put like um, cotton swabs, I could put alcohol swabs, I could put um, blood sugar monitor stuff in here, I could put whatever in this zip right here, but that's how this one looks and how I've chosen to organize it. Um, I won't lift up the full bag because it's absolutely enormous um, for good reason because it fits all my makeup. But again, that probably will um, fall over. But again, I'll take the camera, take my phone off and show you um, everything. So let's see, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my makeup bag. This is the full makeup bag by Ali Glines. Um, as you can see, it comes with two small compartments and uh, one large compartment or organizer, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I have kept my Sephora um, makeup brush kit up here. What I do love about this bag in particular and why I bought it is that um, Ali has a lot of like these big palettes kind of like me um, and these palettes here from ColourPop and other brands that lie flat like this. So when you shut it, um, I'm not sure if it'll zip. It probably would if I forced it or took this this guy out here took the um the thing the makeup brush kit out but that's okay I don't mind having that separate but anyway when it does shut this will lie flat on top and these um palettes um will lie will fit perfectly in like this little extra space right here so that's why she had that little extra space because she knew that people with a lot of makeup like me um have these palettes and need a space for them they will fit perfectly right here um i have the wild nothing palette that i sometimes put back like this so i know it's there i have this kind of like california gold color pop palette um this is how i've chosen to organize it i have these two palettes fit perfectly um when they're laid on the side they're both two-faced um palettes chocolate and peach um i can't really bear to get rid of them. I have the um, ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid um, setting spray. I have things like highlighter, bronzer, um, foundations and things like that, like complexion products. Uh, these are all my eyeshadows, single eyeshadows and stuff in here. Um, this is the ColourPop Zoella collaboration. Um, several um, Bare Minerals um, eyeshadows that I might start using again because before they were like in a drawer somewhere and now they're more visible. Um, definitely still using these uh, ColourPop eyeshadows. Again, making mobs down there. Um, two Stila ones that I'm starting to use more because they are more visible. This one I've decided to dedicate to all of my um, lip products. I only have one eye product that I guess could go technically with the other eye products. Um, this one is all lip products. Um, remember that Jeffree Star, um, like holographic, um, iridescent, unicorny color one? That's in here. All my lip products. All the ColourPop Beauty Blenders that I bought in that set, that's in there as well. This one I use most often and have used um, pretty much every time I do my makeup because the um, inner corner point or triangle is great for the inner corner and the concealer. The other ends is great for um, foundation. There we go, oh my gosh. Ignore the rug, sorry, not my rug, but um, that looks absolutely stunning with the gray. Actually, okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I love the gray and the rose gold. The rose gold and the pink might have been too close of colors together, but that looks so beautiful and stunning. Um, I love organizing things and having, you know, their own containers, their own separate compartments. Um, and as you saw with the medical one, they can be um, taken in and out and things like that. And you can organize them however you want. All right, and that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. I wanted to definitely show off the Alley Glines classic and full makeup bag set. Um, that was one of the bigger purchases that I've made recently, but I really wanted to show you how I organize it with um, makeup, with both makeup and medicine as well. 
Um, again, please, please, please leave me comments with types of content that you want me to um, make. Um, I definitely want to make, you know, a Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul once all those packages arrive. Um, I'd love to do like a, a proper health update and how things are going. Things have definitely changed since July. Oh my gosh, I, I watched that video where I look back at that type of video and I'm like, oh my gosh, everything's like completely changed since then in terms of medicines and how I'm doing and updates on things that have happened in between. Obviously, we're in a completely new house and setting, um, so things have definitely changed. Um, but um, for the most part, I'm thankful and grateful that we're here, that uh, we're still standing or our house is still standing. We have somewhere to go. We have a roof over our head. I'm just super thankful and grateful for that. And thank you so much for taking a tour of my makeup bag again. And, um, you know, just let me know what you want to see. Let me know what kind of content you want. I'm trying to be more active on Instagram and get people engaged and follow me over there. So please do that. And, um, subscribe and like the video and hit the little bell for um, notifications when I do post a video. But like I said, I have plans for a new video. So um, as soon as those come out, and if you ring the bell, you'll get notified for when they come out. Um, definitely before Christmas, so keep an eye out for those. Um, also, another video that I'm gonna make, either it'll come out before this or after this video, is a couple little outings that I did. I say couple, I literally mean two places in like the span of uh two three months like um we went for a socially distanced dinner with friends and then i went to check out a new little cafe in the next town over um it was wonderful and i was super safe and took tons of precautions i vlogged both of those days so i've made it into a little vlog either the video will be uh linked below and in a card in one of the corners um, if not, look out for the video coming soon after this one. Alright, thank you so much guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys.